Alright, what's going on everybody? It's Liam here and welcome to today's video on the channel. In today's video, I have a commentary for y'all and I will be explaining how the Rochambeau system works. I know a lot of players are confused by this and don't understand uh, basically the new direction Wiz has been going this past year and I hope I can kind of help you guys understand it a bit better. Now I know I might sound a bit different in this video. I uh, just finished having oral surgery like a day ago so uh, forgive me if I sound a bit weird or a bit mumbly. Uh, I do apologize for that. I just wanted to uh, get a video out for y'all. Okay, so I think the first thing we should talk about is, you know, what is Rochambeau? Like, what is Rochambeau before we even get into it, right? Now, I'll throw an image up on screen right now on, you know, like the Rochambeau wheel. And you can kind of just take a look at it. You can pause the video if you'd like, if, you know, you think that'll help you. Uh, basically... What this is meant to do is to reinforce school identity, right? That's like one big thing. And it's also meant to like lay the foundation and the groundwork to, you know, balance out the game, uh, especially in areas like PvP, right? This past year, I feel like we've seen a lot of school identity just get thrown out the window ever since the gear audit of, uh, I think it was Lemuria, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong there. But we've seen school identity go just completely out the window. You know, every school has the same damage. There's no exclusivity to being a damage school anymore. You know, when you see an ice in life with more damage than a storm, sometimes it, it gets kind of crazy, right? But the Rochambeau essentially is meant to lay, like, again, like I said, the foundation and the groundwork for the devs to build up upon and expand uh, in PvP and both PvE, right? Um, this isn't really a PvP focused video, it's also a PvE. Uh, in PvE hard mode, you guys will have to follow the literal Rochambeau wheel that PvP follows, right? So it's kind of an interesting system the developers put together. Uh, just to kind of like, you know, again, make the game make more sense. I know a lot of players like to be like, oh, where's better before Rochambeau? And I understand that, you know, I'm not going to act like I, you know, played for years on years before Rochambeau. As you guys know, I've only been around for about two years. Um, so, you know, like half Rochambeau, half not Rochambeau, right? But I, I do think this is a solid approach um, from the devs standpoint, in my opinion. Um, but if you guys do not like Rochambeau, uh, feel free to let me know why in the comments. I'm really curious to see your reasoning why. Uh, personally, again, I like it because like the counter matchups, which we'll talk about, is... As much as they're really hard to win, and you could argue it's a stupid idea, um, I personally enjoy the challenge in having like a counter matchup, for example. If you look at uh, Myth, then there goes an arrow to death, right? So that means Myth, hard counters, death, essentially, right? That's what that means. So on a death, you might not be able to do all the stuff you, you know, want to do. So you have to change your strategy on the spot and adapt to the person you're playing, right? Which is a pretty cool thing, right? Rather before a shambo, it would be like, okay, I'll just do the same thing all the time, 90% of the time. Um, but now there's a lot more flexibility and I can really appreciate that as a player personally. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk about is a uh, hard counter and soft counter matchups. Now, I don't know if this was like a thing before Shambo. I don't think it was. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure. Uh, basically, uh, the first example I used was Myth Hard Counters Death. Now, what does that mean, Liam? What is a hard counter? Basically, right, if I'm on a storm, what does storm do good at, guys? Right? Storm is, you know, like a hitting, blading school. It, it, it's very much so uh, orientated around blades. You can see that with their scion, right? their storm scion right here clear four blades right but a counter a hard counter would be ice because ice is sole purpose is to counter blades right storms sole purpose is to counter heal and damage over times right so on a storm my hard counter matchup would be an ice again if you look back at their shambo wheel here you can see that the ice goes to the storm there and then the storm goes to the fire right so I'm gonna want a blade on a storm, but my hard counter is an ice. Or on a storm, I might want to go for a weakness gambit, but ice also counters weakness gambits, right? 
again, you could go back to the myth example here. Um, what how myth counters death, right? In two out of three ways, I'm pretty sure for almost every single school right now, your hard counter matchup will counter two out of three of your gambits. Um, again, for myth, you myth counters weaknesses, death does weaknesses, right? Uh, myth counters shields, death does shields, right? That kind of stuff. Same thing here with storm. Uh, ice counters weaknesses and blades. Storm, you're wanting to go for weaknesses and blades for obviously uh, your best utility, right? So that's essentially what a hard counter is. I think my next point I'm going to go into right here is basically what every school does, what the new school identity of each school is, because, you know, a lot of players are kind of confused. You know, I, I made a video a couple days ago uh, talking about the, the massive lore master or the massive lore spell audit. There's like a big spell audit coming again uh, in the future. You guys should definitely check out that video if you haven't already. It's going to touch like normal spells, lore spells, like Krampus and stuff like that. Definitely check that out if you haven't seen it already here on the channel. But I made a video and somebody said, you know, oh, so-and-so is Fire School Identity, right? Uh, but that's kind of what inspired me to make this video because that, that player clearly did not understand the new direction that Wiz is going, right? Um, now I'm going to hop on my fire here to explain this a bit better. Because this is kind of where it gets confusing. I don't want to be like all on my high horse and be like, oh, this is how it is, you know. Um, but the game is going in a new, new direction. Ever since Rashambo has launched, you, you guys kind of need to forget about the past in a way, I feel like. And I'm going to kind of explain that right now. So, for example, right? Fire with the Rashambo wheel here. Uh, fire specializes in damage over times, traps and heal overtimes, right? So fire is the overtime school, so obviously dots and hots, and it's also a trap stack school, right? That is the new direction that the fool, the fire school identity is going in in the future of Wizard of One. That, that, that is the reality of the situation. Now, what fire used to be years ago was a lot about mantles, right? Like smoke screen. Uh, we got Krampus here as well somewhere, I think. Uh, do I have it? Yeah. You got Krampus, you got smoke screen. You know, I had somebody in my comments say, well, this is fire school identity, but they clearly just don't understand the new Rashambo system, which is fine. I'm not trying to like, you know, talk wet about that guy, but I'm just saying this is kind of where my inspiration uh, to m wanting to make this video came from was somebody clearly just didn't understand the new system that the devs are putting into Wiz. And again, this affects both PvE players as well as PvP players. I think it's very important to understand uh where your school is going in the future and you know your new i guess the best way to put it is your new school identity right another example i can use i guess is myth shift right myth is not meant to counter uh you know dots right myth is meant to counter weaknesses shields and uh, what's the other one uh, it's just weaknesses and shields right i think so so uh, myth has shift which is part of the old like Wizard 101 system that the devs are trying to get away from. But yeah, I'm gonna explain uh, what school does what now, essentially. Now, I'm gonna go to the title screen here because it gets a little bit confusing. Uh, I can just go through this pretty quickly again because I'm a pretty experienced PvP player when it comes to, you know, their shamble wheel. I have every school max level here, as you can see. I've played a lot of games. Um, we will start off with the myth, obviously. Um, myth hard counters weaknesses and it hard counters shields right that's just two main things it has going for it and myth also is like the trap sack school right your scion is you know a trap gambit right you do shields to traps weaknesses to traps and then you use those traps to go for big a big hit a big combo or obviously that scion for fire you counter trap sack because you know, you are a trap school and you specialize in, you know, damage over times and heal over times. For example, again, your scion is two damage over times on the opponent. You counter shields because again, you're fire and you counter trap sack. So you can counter trap sack and set up your scion or you can counter a shield and set up your scion with a fire. Life counters trap stack and life counters damage over times. So life is a 
essentially a hard counter to both fire and myth in this scenario. And life specializes in heal over times. So again, you can see that reflect in the scion. You can do tr you can convert traps to your scion and go for a scion. Uh, you can convert you know damage over times to go for your scion as well. Death counters heal over times, which again this is life's hard counter is death. So death counters heal over times, and death also counters blade stack. So in this case, death would soft counter a school like Storm, for example, and it would hard counter life as well. Death specializes in weaknesses, as you can see again in the gambit here as well. And that's just another important thing to note is if you want to know more about your school identity, if you just simply look at the gambits here, like your Scion, your Jin, your Oni, the, the conditionals for that all follow your something to do with your school identity essentially right but yeah death specializes in weaknesses and shields storm again specializes in blades uh heal over times it borrows some of that identity from life for some reason that's just how it is and you have a weakness gambit uh your hard counter is ice because the counter weaknesses and obviously your blades um the one outlier is obviously the heal over times but for you know every again for about two out of three on every school, uh, your your hard counter counters that, and you have one thing to go for that could work against your uh, hard counter, which in this case would be the heal over times against an ice, which would be your storm gen. Now ice specializes in shields. Uh, it counters weaknesses, right? And ice can trap to an extent. So schools that counter ice really well are fire and myth because fire and myth counter shields, right? Ice excels against uh, schools like death and schools like storm uh, where you're very, very blade reliant, for example. And balance, I mean, you know, balance is literally in the middle of everything. Uh, <laughs> balance basically just depends on your opponent. <laughs> I don't know. Balance is, I don't know. Balance is kind of like the outlier in this whole thing. It kind of counters everything, you know, it's like your gin is if you have a heal over time if your opponent does or if there's you know dots on anybody you can do something or if your opponent has pips you can do something uh if your opponent has shadow pips you can do something uh balance is just crazy diverse and you know that's just kind of you know what it is i think that part did keep its school identity over the years so yeah that's uh most of the important stuff this video seems to be going on for a while now so we've talked about hard counters and kind of the new system uh soft counters again would be uh you know like balance counters each one of the elemental schools because the spells like their elemental golem right it's a hit an elemental shield so they're you know kind of meant to counter the, uh, the LD schools a bit better than the spirit schools for example myth was soft counter ice fire would hard counter ice you know uh storm would hard counter fire because fire is a damage overtime school storm is an anti overtime school right um life is a healing school death is an anti healing school right i think you guys can kind of see the pattern here again if you need help just kind of look at the uh, rochambeau will here and i'll probably have timestamps explaining uh which part is what you know the new school identity what a hard counter is stuff like that but I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I hope you learned something new. Uh, if you made it this far, be sure to leave a like rating. It helps me out a lot. I do post every single day, and I'm really looking forward to posting content on Novice. But yeah, without further ado, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching this far, and as always, take care, guys.